<clears throat> oh, what's up, guys? This is your boy, the one and only Sense. And for some of y'all, this might be y'all first time seeing me on camera, but some of y'all already seen me, so it don't matter. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's get to the fact that um, we here to address a tech and public service announcement. See, recently I was playing in this lobby with this dude, GM Fuzzle. See, I don't call him Fizzle no more. I call him Fuzzle because he lost all my respect. But anyways, that's besides the point. And I came to realize, like, as I was playing him, I almost beat him with Bob. And I had fun with the match. This is me, you know, just having fun in the, in the time and stuff like that. And then uh, later on, I actually went to his Twitch. I didn't even know he had Twitch, but I seen he was streaming. Then I rewinded back to when he was um, fighting me because I didn't even know if he had a voice or not, how he sounded, anything. So I went and did that. And then comes to find out that this man was talking crap. Like he was like down talking, saying, you know, I'm weak, this, that, and the third, I'm a scrub, um, all this other stuff. And I'm like, Wow, really? It's just a game, dude. I understand that people get salty, but I didn't even beat him. I almost beat you, and you getting you saying all this stuff. Like, why are you saying all this stuff? It's not like um a diss or anything. It's just me addressing like taking as a whole, and that just goes to show like people like him. I don't know. He was saying stuff like uh oh you. You not good. Look how you playing this, that, and the other. But, dude, I'm playing Bob, and you know I play Bob kind of weird. So it's like, well, what you gonna expect, nigga? What you gonna expect? What do you want me to do? I guess plenty of people out here with different play styles that play weird, and just because they play different from how you usually play, how you used to be playing, and they actually, how can I say this? Beating you or you know winning around by using the style or method that they're using. That don't mean that you gotta, oh, uh, you weed. Why are you playing this way? You're not supposed to play him this way. This, that, uh, that type of stuff. Like, I feel like people who do that, I don't even know how to feel about that, honestly, because it's sad. And I, I see that a lot of people, I ain't gonna say a lot of people like GM, because you know, you got positive people that's at the top, like speed kicks and stuff, but a lot of people, they don't. They at the top and they don't they don't want to see nobody else get good basically. They want to keep everybody at the bottom at the bottom. And they only want to stay at the top. They don't ever want to help them out, point I ain't gonna say like point out, you know, because a lot of people can just sit there, oh you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that. But you know, in a match, of course it's gonna be a lot of shit that you is doing and you ain't doing. What I'm trying to say is just cause somebody played different from you or how you expect it, you can't call them you can't call them weak. You can't call somebody that's Putting up a fight against you, winning two rounds on you, weak. Now I can see if you know round brown enough completely. Okay, you got all rights to say that. I mean, even though you shouldn't, because that's negative, but you got all rights to say that. But they won a whole two rounds on you for a reason. Obviously, the stuff that they're doing is working. So why not keep using it? Like if you're gonna get hit by the same move 50 times, I'm gonna keep using it until you start to block it. Ain't no reason to. I don't need to play different if what I'm doing is already working. I'm not saying this is what I do, but I'm saying a prime example. And I don't know why Tekken is set up like that, but public service announcement. Y'all got to stop doing that. Y'all just got to stop. I got to stop. If you're not no around Brown and nobody, you can't call nobody garbage. You can't call them nothing. I mean, okay, you can lose a set, but if you actually did good in the set, you can't call them garbage because you're not no around Brown and them. That's the whole simple fact. If you're doing that, then they're complete garbage. But if, you, if they almost beating you every time and it's close, you can't call them garbage because it, it could have went either way. It's just you was, I don't know, one step he ahead of them or however you want to put it. But still, that made me mad. And that made me lose all my respect for GM Fizzy. Like, again, we can't be, we can't be out here giving respect to these people that are, you know, glorified from what they did in the past. You know, that's why I just realized I can't, I can't be giving, you know, just because I see people got skill, you can't just, you can't get that respect no more because not all of them are good people, sadly. Not all of them are good people. And, you know, of course, you know, 
I, I had that point in my life where I was like, you know, I ain't gonna say in my life, but in my taking life or taking uh, career, where I was like, uh, man, he played this character, he booty cheeks. I'm not like that no more. Eventually, if you wanna become better, you gotta think better. And that stuff right there is just, it's a no-go. Like, you can't can't be blaming a character. You can't be blaming a play style because it's however way they win, it's however they win. And, you know, I've had my moments where I still do say, like, you know, Lily is just an easy character to play overall. You know, all you gotta do is two moves, down forward three, and uh, sidestep and do whatever after that. That's just my opinion. I, I mean, I know it takes skills to play any character, but, you know, I personally just don't like that character, but I don't let it, you know, oh, you play this character, so you're not good enough to fight me or something like that. But that's how a lot of people that's already up there think, though, just sad. But your boy Cinch, you know, never, I would never think like that. That's crazy, though. Oh, by the way, these matches that I'm showing y'all, that I'm watching right now are old well not really old but you know my first games of the day so i was kind of stiff so you know all of that but that's besides the point but yeah i'm i i kind of see why kumu don't like gm I, <laughs> I see why i see why now and i can kind of agree with him on that on how he acting you never know, man. You never know what's behind the mask. You really don't. That shit is sad. But that's all I want to let y'all know, man. If y'all out here playing Tekken, y'all know I'm going to play. I'm going to play and I'm going to, ain't going to talk shit, talk shit, but I'm going to, you know, talk shit a little bit, you know, here and there. But I ain't going to take it too far and get personal as to say, oh, your character, booty cheeks. This, your character got this. I don't got that. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I mean, on a serious note, I wouldn't do that, but you know, I'll say it just to be playing around with my friends because they know how I play because I'm a goofy. That's what's how you're playing. That's why it's like, I don't know. Tekken is just like real life in, in some aspects. Like, you know how the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor for the most of the part. That's basically how Tekken is, you know, people that's bad at the game stay bad at the game because nobody want to help them get good. And then when people beat them, they want to tell them get good, but not telling them what they need to do in order to get good and stuff like that. It's crazy. But you know, I don't know. I'm trying to really change that. And I ain't saying, you know, go around and be like, oh man, sit with the trees, positive vibes. I can feel the wind in between my ears. No, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is be positive. And sometimes, I mean, everybody started somewhere, shit. I know I did, and I ain't even the best player, but I'm damn sure not a novice at this game. We've been playing for how long? Since Tekken 4, you know. I've been playing this game for ages, man. And I can't really say that, because it's a lot of people that have been playing this game for ages and still bad. <laughs> but that's besides the point, y'all. That's the point. I just really wanted to address that though. Like, please, if y'all watching this video, if you're good at the game or not, you know, if you're good, I advise you try to help somebody. Like right now, I'm helping somebody learn frame data. I'm not even the best, but I know my frames. I know my frames. And it's and a lot of things of what how I play, people don't like because I came from playing aggressive characters like Nina. Uh and, and well, Anna not really too aggressive, but you know, 50 50 is scary as fuck. But that's besides the point. I come from playing people like Anna, Nina, Bob, Miguel. And then when I switch over, it's like hard for me to switch over because it's like I'm used to playing aggressive, but I'm not playing too aggressive. But I'm playing aggressive and people don't like that. I don't know why, but that's just what I grew up on playing. I like being in somebody's face and pressuring them with mix ups. I don't want to get them a chance to breathe. That's just me. I ain't saying that I'm finna be not pushing buttons the whole time. I know when to you know wait for my turn, but I'm finna go for all these frame traps. I'm finna try and go for side step one setups, everything. <clears throat> you know my voice, my voice is a little sick. But yeah, that's crazy though. I never, I never would have thought this man GM would do something like that. Or no, not do something. Say something like that. 
And then it was another player that he was up in there, you know, down talking to on on his stream too. I forgot the player name, but it was a uh, I think it was a cat player. It was a Tekken King cat player. And the first time that they fought, he fought Tekken King. He no round brown him. Okay, bam, you got that. Second time, he almost lost one by a hair, and the man still downplayed him. Like, why are you down talking this man? Why? Like, dang, does everything he gotta do be garbage? Every everything he does is garbage unless you say it's okay. That don't even make sense. And that's what's wrong with people in this damn community. And a lot of people scared to address that fact. See, I don't get no fuck. I'ma speak my mind regardless. That's just me. I ain't scared to address no situation. And I ain't scared to fight nobody on this game. In the game. Not in real life. I mean I ain't scared to fight nobody in real life either, but this game ain't never that seriously. You gotta fight somebody in real life. You fuck. I'm not gonna waste my time on nobody trying to fight them. I got too much going on in this game. It ain't all uh, that. It ain't. it ain't worth it. The DLC wasn't worth it, so fighting you ain't worth it. Shit. That's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, y'all. Just, man. If you're gonna scream, man, I don't say. Try to be positive, cause I didn't. I met people that were streamers that was uh, how can I say this, positive in a way. And then I met them on rank match. Well, I met one person on rank match in particular. And we had an altercation, but I'm not gonna get into details on that. But you know, don't just be believing what you hear. Like I thought, GM was just a good guy. That was what I thought from what I heard rumors, but I never actually, you know heard him talk or heard his persona never seen him interact with nobody until I went to his stream and I can't believe he got people watching him supporting him um like how can you support somebody that's down talking do y'all like that now I don't know y'all y'all that's crazy can't nobody think for themselves in this game but I'm trying to I ain't gonna say I'm trying to change that but you know I'm I'm trying to be a more positive Second player, because a lot of people they don't or they stop playing this game because of low self esteem on how people be trash talking them and stuff like that. So I, I I got it. I got people in my PSA inbox telling me about how uh people be trolling and then trash talking them. Then they don't get no hook from nobody telling them how to play the game. It's weird, man. People, I don't know what's wrong with people, y'all. But we gotta stop. I'm slowly stopping. Well, I ain't gonna say stopping. Like, I've been doing it, but I'm trying to make a change. But nah, enough of this serious talk. What's up with this season 3 DLC? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. If Kunimitsu and June don't come to this game, I'm gonna put a hit on Harada. And I'm gonna say it's for me. Cause that, like... How you gonna leave out two of the most unique characters in the game? A lot of people wanna argue that June and um uh what's what's the daughter name? Asuka are like no not by a long shot, no. I mean they have like what? Like two or three similar moves. Two or three. It's not like long for it, well, I I don't play it for it's long, but they were like they didn't have like the same, so I'm gonna go based off that. But yeah, it's not like uh them and Kunimitsu is not like Yoshimitsu. They have what two moves that's the same and everything else is way different. Kunimitsu's gimmicks is just way different from Yoshimitsu's. Way different. But yeah, that's just my take on this, y'all. This is mainly a Tekken public service announcement to all the people that's out there that's actually believe in what they hear and not experiencing it but they felt like the same shit with Akumu I thought Akumu was like this villain that everybody knew out to be but he's not a villain man he one cool dude Kodoko also cool ass person you get to know somebody they be real cool can't be going off what you hear about people a lot of people told me like uh Kodoko wasn't you know a friendly person and stuff like that and I ended up playing on, I think, Quick Match. It was a Quick Match or Rain Match, one of them. 
And after that, we just became friends. Because I guess she liked how I fought with my Nina. But whatever, y'all. That's the end of this conversation. Hope y'all take learn from this. Because I most definitely did. Uh, watch what you think about people. Because it's not always what it, what it seems to be or whatever case may be. So, yeah, y'all stay cool out there. Keep on checking it out. You know, I know that was corny. But yeah. <sighs> stay positive. Be breezy.